Pleasant greetings and a good day to all. You are watching a video presentation created by Group 5, Canto Boys of Science 11B, Living Systems, Concepts, and Dynamics. For this presentation, we will talk about the sulfur cycle, along with its effects on different global aspects, or the various impacts it incurs towards climate change within our world. Let us begin. From what can be observed from the diagram, it illustrates a model of the sulfur cycle, one of the five biogeochemical cycles of the Earth. Each part of the model comprises the entire sulfur cycle, beginning from the source and cycling throughout. Interestingly, the outcomes resulting from the sulfur cycle indicate numerous effects within the Earth. Such effects impact different global aspects and functions as a major factor contributing to climate change. People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you! First and foremost, the sulfur cycle's effects on biodiversity. According to a number of sources, it is found that because of the presence of hydrogen sulfide in precipitation and increased rain by climate change, marine biodiversity and aquatic organisms are negatively impacted because of their sensitivity to excessive amounts of sulfur. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Acid rain also disrupts the outer coat of a plant's leaves, and when this happens, photosynthesis may not occur, possibly causing the plant to die. Another effect associated with the sulfur cycle accounts for food security. Sulfur in wheat is essential when it comes to bread making quality. I always spank my dough. Who's your daddy? Sulfur is a component of certain amino acids, such as cysteine, which plays an important role in the structure of proteins and is therefore essential to biological systems. Although sulfur plays a vital role in wheat and amino acids, such as cysteine, it may also cause harmful effects to sensitive subjects. The aspect of human health is also affected by sulfur in the atmosphere mainly from the acid rain phenomenon. Gases like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide can trigger respiratory problems to humans or gravely affect those who already have these illnesses. Nitrogen oxide also causes ground-level ozone, which could also be the source of respiratory ailments and could affect the human lungs. As a major part of the environment, Water quality is largely affected by sulfur. Based on the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA's standards for drinking water, sulfates fall under secondary standard contaminants. The color of the solution slowly changes from yellow to reddish to almost red-black when the sulfur dissolves in it. The presence of these in water can be associated with a bitter taste, an unpleasant odor, and blackening. Furthermore, these are known to cause buildups in water pipes and stained clothing due to a dark slime produced by sulfur oxidizing bacteria. Given the negative effects and impacts of sulfur to various global aspects as well as its relationship with climate change, the grand question would then be, how do we alleviate such effects? We need to stop fossil fuels from causing further global warming. So how do we do that? First, let us identify the problem. The harmful overabundance of sulfur occurs when another source, such as man-made factories and fossil fuel combustion, adds a greater amount of sulfur to the atmosphere. In order to alleviate the harmful effects incurred by the higher-than-normal level of sulfur within the atmosphere, it is necessary 
for humans to lessen or reduce the amount of sulfur by finding alternatives to industrial factories, fossil fuels, which come from coal, as well as other man-made structures and chemicals contributing to the overproduction of sulfur. Natural scientists have concurred that the depletion of our environment has always been a people problem. This is because societal patterns cause environmental problems, society is heavily affected by these, and it takes major collective action to alleviate these problems. The challenge of humanity today is to take collective action to reduce climate change's harmful effects. However, even in this setting, social, economic, and political dynamics are at play. The plea of educating the public can only go so far as theoretical knowledge if there is no policy change. It is essential to recognize the function of powerful agencies such as governments and large-scale companies as they are the ones who can initiate wide-scale and long-term plans to save the environment. Individual actions can only do so much. The climate crisis is not just a physical problem. Without recognizing social order and power dynamics, the environment will continue to deplete. Once again, a pleasant greetings and a good day to all. We hope much was learned from this presentation. The effects of the sulfur cycle and climate change to the environment discussed and brought to you by Group 5, Canto Boys of Science 11B, Living Systems, Concepts and Dynamics. Thank you and God bless.